All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to our weekly beginner Zoom. And tonight's going to be great because, again, I'm going to be answering all your questions. And, you know, I'm going to share my screen later on to do some product research. And I'm also going to show you guys how to add products to your prep center. So I'm going to start with doing a Q&A first because I do like want to clarify all the questions first and get it out, um, out of the way. And then once that's done, I can share my screen and do more training for you guys. Is that okay? <laughs> Fantastic. Yep. Okay. Yes, sir, all good. So that being said, um, go ahead, Morsa, with your question. Okay. So um, you had told us, like, you know, we thought we would have the whole three steps set up by now, but obviously we don't. Mm -hmm. So, um, cause like I said, we're also like moving and trying to do a lot of other stuff like everybody else. Um, but okay. you had said, you had said step, step number two was, um, so. no, no. Step number two, last week, you told me to go to the beans or the deals for the product list. Right. And then you said number three is shipping center. But on the Facebook, on the study, the course, the steps, it's the other way around. Does it matter what order? Hmm we go in because I looked at the um the prep cell center that looks a little complicated but I haven't looked through everything so I right. just wanted to know yeah it doesn't have to be in order um you can okay. just start with your well um you guys are waiting for your Amazon account to be set up right so in the meantime yeah, so you can work on your product list okay and also work on your prep center Mm -hmm. okay. um, with the prep center, it's not that hard. Um, and plus, I can connect you guys to the owner of, of the prep center itself. His name is Nick. So if you guys have any questions right. about the process, you can call him over the phone. Do you, do you think we should just start with Nick? Because I, I was looking at the little details and I'm, I'm kind of like, I just get really, I lose focus on all the details. Should I just call him directly? and Right. Or should I look? Um, yeah. I think you should try. Like try it first. Okay. And if you're stuck with with like a process, you can call them up. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I think would don't we need to have our Amazon account like open already so he can have access to it? Isn't oh, that no. with no? No, okay. the prep center is just with a prep center. So okay. So is it with the deals with the product list that they need access to it? No. So the OA deals and OA beans are for the are for the products. Yeah. And then, e, like, ESO is the prep center. Right. Yeah. Doesn't one of them need some kind of access to our Amazon oh. account to, like, partial access or something? I thought I saw it in Facebook, unless I read it wrong. Right. Yeah, they're going to give you, like, a document, and you're going to just follow it, like, step by step. And you're going to give them, like, limited access to your um, Amazon account. Okay, so... Yeah. Who does that? The shipping center or the product mm -hmm. place? Um, the shipping center. Okay. So then, okay. So I don't need to have the Amazon up when I contact them. Mm, I see. I, I see what yeah. you're saying. Well, you're yeah. going to need it, but not, you know, like not now, okay. really. Okay. But just start okay. the process with them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then once okay. you start ordering products, you're going to have to set that up later, um, later on, though. Okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. All help? right, great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Lewis, can you kind of direct me where the, the gum road is? Because I've been searching back and forth and having trouble finding it. The link to that. The course, you mean? Yeah. Um, let me see. I mean, if you look at your email, just Google or just Google, I'm sorry, just search the FBA roadmap. In Facebook or in the group or? Oh, no, it's going to be in your email. Oh, God. Nobody knows where that is. I don't even know. <laughs> it's in there somewhere. Yeah, but just search it. Just type in the FBA roadmap. And it should be, you know, it should be short, um, searchable. Okie dokie. I'll do that. Yeah, but if not, let me know. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll do. Questions, anyone? About anything? <laughs> this is Thomas. Um, uh -huh. the, um, the guys were talking about this um, 
uh, the private discourse is a discourse channel or something. It's a, a mm. link said something separate. Right. Yeah, it's called a, a private Discord group. So all that information should be inside the course. Okay, so that that sounded like it was a Q and A thing, but um, for the uh, next another additional Q and A thing. Um, yeah, it's, it's not really that important to be honest. It's it's just like an extra resource. Okay, okay. I, yeah. It didn't it didn't sound like it, but I just wanted to make sure I that I wasn't missing something here. Um, so. When he's talking about the, the the buy box to get more of the buy box share, right? What what is he what does he mean by that? Um, it just means that you need to match Amazon's like current selling price. Okay. So for example, like he was also saying, like. Be within one or two percent of the buy box price, and then the buyback should get you know, it's all about getting buy box share, right? So, is this one right here? Mm -hmm. Oh, the buy box. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, so, yeah. So, yeah. for you to get this, you need to match this this price, mm -hmm. or you need to be close to it, okay? Yeah, so is he talking about the the like the the rotation? Is that what we call the buyback share? Do you get right. more of that rotation? Yes. Okay. So if you're within this price, you're going to be sharing the sales with other sellers. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's what I kind of figured, but I just wanted to, because it was like, you know, some of the language, I just wanted you know, get my head in that language. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's right. <laughs> it's a whole new language, right? So I get yeah. it. Yeah. And, and a lot of the things they're talking about is the, the FBM, uh, you know, because it sounds like they're, they're doing a lot more of that, or at least they were, and they're shifting to the hmm. FBA. And uh, um, right. I think those um, were my only yeah. questions. FBM, they, it means fulfilled by merchant, which means they ship it directly yeah. to the buyers. Yeah. Um, They only do that during the holiday season when they have so many orders and they run out of stock. Okay. Yeah. Well, okay. But, but for the most part, we do FBA. Okay. Yeah. And all these supplies that they're talking about, that's a lot of FB, FBM, right? All the, because that, because they're prepping well, stuff and doing all that themselves, where a lot of that, the prep center is going to be doing all that. Correct. Right. Yeah. So we don't need a, all the printers and all that kind of stuff. No. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. I gather. I just want. That's the usual way of doing it, um, Amazon. It's like you, you buy your products, right? You ship it to yourself. Yeah. I can prep it. But we skipped that process with with this group, so yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm happy about that. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> that's a lot more complicated. All those details stuff of making sure you got labels right and blah 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 and all the rest. So I really appreciate that you've got the prep center part. Oh, yeah, of course. I made this as easy as possible for everyone. Yes. You know, just like plug and play, and you know, there's no complicated stuff really. Just a few steps and. You know, you're good to go. One of the things I didn't really understand, and um, he was talking about being um, uh, when he was when uh, one of the guys was talking about the credit cards, and he was talking about leveraging the, you know, and getting the getting the uh, the percentages, you know, the uh, for the big spends, and he was talking about paired with um, rack something rack. Mm. Rakuten. What is it? Rakuten. Rakuten. Okay. Yeah. R A. -R -R mm -hmm. Here you go. I'll type it in the chat. Oh, Rakuten. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rakuten. And what is that? It's like a third party cashback website. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that something you recommend or use? Oh yeah, I I use one. So that's okay. how you make money, extra money from from e-commerce, right? So you make money from your sales, and then you make mm -hmm. money from cashback websites like Rakuten. Ah, right, right, right. I remember you talking about. Okay. Right, and then when you use your credit card, you get like an extra like two percent, right, or like one percent. Yep. Okay. Like travel points. Yeah. Okay. Now that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Or, I just or I got your next week. 
yeah, our guest speaker next week is actually going to be talking about that, like how to add, okay. how to like um, get like manufactured points, or okay. your e-commerce business. So, okay, cool. Yeah. On on that on that note, Louise, um, you had posted about Anthony Anthony Vanaki, mm -hmm. um, for funding. Um, can you can you share a little more about that and what's what mm. what what's entailed? Yeah. Well, he's going to be a speaker on our next call too, but. Um, he okay. Helps, he helps business owners get business funding for the businesses. Okay. So it could be a small business owner. It could be, you know, a big corporation. It doesn't matter. He, um, he looks at your stuff and then he get, he helps you with funding. Okay. Yeah. And he's also okay. very familiar with e-commerce. So he knows what okay. we do and he knows how to like, which banks will like reach out to as far as like funding. Okay. Great. Yeah. Or you can message them on Facebook too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I had one other highlight here that I wasn't quite sure on. Is inventory lab software? Yeah, it's a software. Okay. And do you we use that or do you recommend using that? Um, I don't really use it. Okay. Personally, I don't because I have a bookkeeper. Oh, okay. Yeah. But some people use it. Um I don't know. I think you guys are good with just a bookkeeper, honestly, because it's another software that you guys need to learn. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. But, uh, I don't know if that's, you know, if you guys want to do that. <laughs> Too many software. Not really. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'd rather have a bookkeeper and then give her my, my, my numbers. And then she does a spreadsheet for me. And then I turn that into my CPA, you know, for tax purposes. <laughs> Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Old school, right? Old school way. So yeah, no, that's good. Is there is there in uh, like a recommended instructions you give to the bookkeeper? Are they from? Would they be familiar with this? What we're doing, a, a general bookkeeper? Yeah, well, I do have a team that I can connect with you guys. Of, like, oh, okay. Bookkeepers cool. who know Amazon already. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. So, cool. yeah. All okay, right. great. Fantastic. We're yeah, happy I just to try to give you guys all their resources, you know, as much as like, <laughs> like all of them, like internally. Funding yeah. and, you know, virtual assistants, bookkeepers. So, right. Awesome. Well, it helps them too if they've got that business and it's all, you know, it's similar and they can just plug it in. So, right. That's great. So, okay, that's all I have. Thank you. Um, any more questions, guys? Because if not, I can go do like product research. Cool. Sounds good. Are we good for now? <laughs> All right. Here, let me share my screen with you guys and then I'm going to do some product research. All right. So I have some products here. So this one is. What is this like a chemical? I think foam. So this one is ten bucks or like eleven bucks from Walmart. And this one is a two pack, right? So again, first, sorry, like step one. If you're so with your seller app, you need to look to do the settings first, right? If you haven't, so again, you go back to your seller app and then go to settings. And then under your additional cost, put $2.20 here on your press fee because we're paying a dollar for Amazon to ship their products to them. And then a dollar and 20 per unit, right? For the prep cost. So 220 here. And then miscellaneous fees, I usually put 10% for tax. So from there, you put this and this, and then you save it. And then refresh the page. And then you see the product here. You just double check the size, the title, the photos. So let's see. Let's see. Okay. Looks the same to me. Photos look the same. Flex foam. Sorry. Okay. The same. So this one is a two pack right there. So it means I'm buying two, right? Per unit. 
So I'm going to double this number. So 10.97 times two is going to be this amount right here. So, th so this one looks good. 25% ROI. Um, it's within, you know, 1% BSR. Good amount of sales. And from here, I took competition. This one has one under seller. So really good. And then from here, I check Keepa. What is the BSR, Lewis? Um, best selling rank. Okay. Which just means it needs to be at 1% BSR. Okay. In the qualification. All right. Yeah. Um, and then Keepa. So this product has been selling at about $47 for the past month and a half. So it's good, it's stable. So to me, this product is good. Any questions about it? Hold on. So Kat is asking for the product since it's for two, do you change the prep price? Yes. Yes, you do. Yeah, but for this example, I'm gonna keep it basic for the beginners. But, but Catherine, since you're not technically a beginner anymore, you know, <laughs> you can adjust the prep price. Got it? Okay. Any questions yes. about this or yeah. no? Okay. So next product. Let me see. So makeup. So IT cosmetics, 0 0.4 ounce. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Light fair, I think, okay. Looks the same, right? <laughs> These makers are very confusing to me, so let's see. What's the same? 0 0.4 fluid ounces. Looks the same to me, okay. So this one is nine bucks and 70 cents. So you plug your cost here, $9.70. This one is really good with high ROI, a lot of sales a month. Not so much competition. There's one other FVM seller, so it's good. And from here, look at Keepa. Let's see, mm, okay. So this one is kind of tricky because this product is selling at this price, right? Right here, at like 48 bucks, very like recently. So it's selling really high recently, but based on the history, it's been selling at like 30 bucks, I would say. So just to be safe, I would assume that the price would drop again to like 30 bucks. So I would change this to 30 and see if the number still makes sense, right? So even at 30 bucks, you're still gonna be making a high ROI. You guys got it? Okay, Luis, are you telling me that Walmart is charging $17 and, and, and Amazon is charging 47 for it? Yeah, that's what it looks like. The same thing. Yeah. Wow. That's like. Yeah. Okay. Did that come from OA deals or somewhere else? No, this is somewhere else. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. So, yeah, this one is a really good one. Any questions about this or? <laughs> Go ahead. So would you plug it in at this point at the 47 and then watch it to drop it or? or... No, he's going to do it at 30. No, yeah. he's, he's seeing if it makes right. sense. Oh, oh, okay. yeah. Well, what I would do is I would price this at the highest price possible first, which is 47. Yeah. And then I'll just see like how it, it, it plays out. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Would you, mm -hmm. is there some way to be notified? 
notified or whatever if the price drops or you just got to keep looking right um so as you as you do this longer you're you're going to need to have a repricer it's on the software okay yeah what's it called what is it called again um it's called aura so a u r a it's a repricer okay yeah that's later on though <laughs> okay yeah but yeah. yeah there's like ways to like automate this whole process All right, so we're done here. So next one, I mean, this one is sold out, right? So right there. Um, yeah, it's sold out. So this one I would skip. And this one, it's a blower. So 30 bucks from Walmart. And about 60 bucks on Amazon, is it the same one? Uh, looks like the same one, right? Not the same one, huh? Hmm. I think it's not the same one because this one is a set right there, I believe. With concentrator and diffuser, okay. And this one is just, wait a minute. Just a blower, okay. Hmm. Interesting. AC two fifteen. Is hmm. this the same, ladies, or no? <laughs> oh, right there. Okay, AC twenty fifteen. Okay. It looked like a different body style too. It's like that one's long and the other one's short. No, it's the same. Is it? Okay. Well, look, you, it's the same number. Right. right? So it's the same model. It yeah. Looks the same. Or look how short that is. Yeah. Or the body. Oh, yeah, it's shorter. You're right. There's an E on the end. Oh, it doesn't have the thing. The other one didn't oh, have that. Oh, right there, huh? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's an E on the end. There's an E on the end. Okay. Of the uh, Walmart one. Right. Okay, the manufacturer number Walmart 2015 E. Yeah. The next photo yeah, this, down has like an attachment that you put on that makes it longer. Here, it right? Like, oh. Like the next photo down on the oh on Walmart. On Walmart, okay. So this one? Like that looks oh. longer, like the same. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. It's an attack. Oh, See, that, okay. It gets tricky, right? With like product research because you got to really check it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. This one is tricky, but it looks the same to me. Um, I mean. Yeah. With the attachment. Yeah. I mean, the color's kind of off too, but. Yeah. It looks like a different I color. I guess. <laughs> um, the black and black pink. I don't know, but let's just say they're the same, right? Let's just look at the number. <laughs> <laughs> so 29, I'm 97, you plug it here, or your seller amp, numbers look good, 6295, okay. ROI is good, everything's good, sales are pretty good. And then you look, look at competition, pretty good also. From here, you look at Keepa. Okay. Um, it's okay. It's about fifty bucks. Let's see. Oh, okay, fifty bucks. Oh, okay, there you go. So now it doesn't make sense, right? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this one's tricky because all the sellers now are selling this at this price, right? You guys see it? Uh-huh. About 63 bucks, which is good, except that based on the history, this thing sells for like a lower price, right? So in the past three months, it's been, it's been selling at, I want to say like $52. And then if you look at the one-year chart right here, Amazon is on this listing and they're selling this for like 22 bucks. 
You guys see it? Yeah. So this is too risky because yes, the price today is good. But based on the history, you know, the price is way lower than six than 63 bucks. So so I'm not sure how risky you guys are, but to me, this is too risky. <laughs> mm -hmm. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Too risky for me too. Yeah. So depending on your risk, you know. Yeah. But to me, this is too risky. So skip. All right, next one. So 13.26 is it the same one? Okay. TML, okay. Yeah, that's the same one. Okay. So 13.26. Right. 26. 26. 32.85. Okay, looks good. Um this one is more on the lower side of sales. So 2% VSR, right? It doesn't really qualify our category, but um, this one has 45 sales a month. So it's decent. So from here, I would go check my competition. I mean, at 45 sales a month, this is pretty good still because it has very low competition, right? Mm -hmm. Not a lot of people on it. And then from here, we'll look at Keepa. This one has been selling at 30 bucks. I want to say like 32 bucks. Okay, 32 bucks, 32.26. To me, this is good because even if the sales are pretty low, there's not a lot of competition here. So. Got it? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see the chat. So Catherine has a question. How far back do you look in terms of price? Um, <clears throat> usually I look at the last three months. Right here. Last three months. I usually look at the price in the last three months. If I'm like suspicious, you know, about the product, I usually go for like a full year. So I can see like the whole price change, right? But usually at three months, you would get like a good idea of how the product is moving. So make sense? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then from here, so let's just say I, I like this product. I usually order 10, 10 pieces. And then once I order a product, I go to my prep center spreadsheet. And then I just plug in my numbers. So the date, plug in the date. So today is 18th, 18, 2023. And then you're going to get an order number from your supplier. It's going to come with your receipt. So let's just say this is the order number. And your supplier is this company. So feel unique. Feel unique. Your warehouse is California. So it's either. California or Virginia, right? So if you're using California, you put California, of course. And then item name. We'll get it here. There. That's your item name. And then, and then you get your ASIN. So you go back here. ASIN's right there. Here's your ASIN, and then you plug in your order quantity, which is 10. And that's it. And then from there, your prep center would pack and prep everything in one box and they ship it to Amazon. Does the does the prep center are there? The, do they because Amazon was asking about UPC labels? So the prep center does that, the whole UPC thing, or yeah, they do. Okay. Yeah, they do all the packing and prepping for you guys. It's just a lot in the beginning to like set up everything. 
But once you guys set up everything, all you guys are doing are just shopping every day. <laughs> Looking for products and buying products. And shipping it to their prep center. When you put that on that spreadsheet, that's for your own records or does that mm -hmm. actually activate something? That's the prep center. Well, it's for both. It's for you and the prep center. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, so this side is for you, right? And then this side is for them right there. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, this, um, so they receive it, you know, they, they put their notes here on, on this side. Okay. Questions? Was that a lot or was that enough? <laughs> Just enough. It's good to see it over and over like that. Yeah, every, I mean, um, every Zoom I'm just going to be like on basics. It's, it's going to be boring, right? But <laughs> um, <laughs> how you learn well, it though? So. You know, with the Google Sheets and the Prep Center. So, do you recommend working on Chrome with all of these accounts or Safari? Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm on Safari with oh, a new okay. computer. Yeah, I would use Chrome. Chrome, okay. Yeah, because all the softwares are with Chrome. So, okay, all right. So I'll move to that. Good. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? We good? <laughs> this is under training, so this guy did seven figures in sales last year, so it's, it's, it's going to be a good one. Hey, Lewis. It's me, James. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Hey, so now you're saying you send over 10 items, but for beginners, you recommend we start with like five, five to 10, right? Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Start with five in the beginning. And then as you become more comfortable, do 10. And then maybe 20, you know? No, for sure. Sounds yeah. good. Thanks, bro. We good for now? Thank you. All right. I'll send you guys a new link, okay, for our next Zoom. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Appreciate Lewis. you, bro. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>